Boom. Count Hawala Dankula. Wahalahi Habibi. And uh, and alhamdulillah to you too, my good man. I, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, Habibi is. Is it, what is Habibi like, my dude? Uh, I, I think Habibi actually means my love or my friend or something. I don't. I don't know, and I don't particularly care. It's just fun to say. Do you know what? what how a lot? <laughs> do you want to know what was even uh, uh, more hilarious? Uh, hold on one second. Let me just tweet this out because uh, it's going to be great. Hold on a second. You tweet it as well. Because everyone, like, all the time, everyone's like, you do a weekly podcast? Like, all the time. I know. We really should promote it. I was uh, talking to some people about uh, coming on today. <laughs> people that I talk to regularly. <laughs> Like you do, yeah. you do a podcast. Like pe pe people that know us both well. <laughs> like I've, I've, I've taken. The, I'm sorry. I've, I've tweeted it out and just see without even thinking. Like I, I tweeted out, "Tism is live," and then just robotically started typing "Inshallah." That's how deep <laughs> in character I am right now, man, with this fucking Taliban shit. <laughs> Well, our uh, super secret guest uh, has arrived. Um, Hello, can you hear me? We have can. You got me here. We are. We are live. Just so you know, so don't. Oh, you know. live! Great. I was about to uh, say something that would get me banned. Awesome. <laughs> oh shit, Lauren! How you doing? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? It's been a minute, man. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, man. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, I was literally in my pajamas and uh, quartering sent me a DM and was like, hey, want to jump on? And I was like, can I get a minute to change? So it's good to know uh, we're all on the ugly no camera pill right now. I love that. Well, thanks for shattering. Oh, yeah. I had, Thanks for shattering what was in my mind, a nude Lauren Southern laying around because she simply said, can I put some clothes on? Never, never, <laughs> never take your clothes off. Bathe in your clothes, shower in your clothes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah. It's, 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 yes, 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 Habibi, yes. <laughs> the, the, the glorious caliphate, yes. No one's allowed to be naked. The, no one's allowed uh, to get on a fucking plane either. But. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, did you guys, um, uh, several people sent me screenshots and I didn't get a chance to, to bring it up, but I believe um, the new uh, Count to Allah al Dankula was trending in beauty. Is that is that real? Yeah, for some reason I was because I posted that picture of me in the towel. There's like there's a guy on Twitter called Doctor Shitneck who's who is the fastest photoshopper in the West. And any any time I post a picture, he immediately does some insane Photoshop of it. And uh, he photoshopped like the towel picture of me, and they photoshopped it with me with a big terrorist beard and like shit like that. <laughs> yes, and I tweeted that, yeah. it. I, yeah, I, I tweeted it out saying, just had a nice relaxing soak in the presidential palace and now I'm away to get my nails done, inshallah, <laughs> and shit. And then for some reason, I was top ranked under the beauty section of Twitter, like, <laughs> with, with that fucking picture. <laughs> and yeah. I, was I always like, wanted right, to be a beauty influencer. I'm a little jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach all the all the brothers how to do their contouring and you know put put their mascara on and shit, man. Like, um, yeah, a true. No, it's happy. not. It's not haram. All all the all the Muslim men wear eyeliner. It's it's normal. It's not gay. It's totally not gay. I promise, <laughs> it's not gay. <laughs> the, so a lot of the the tally, uh, like social media shits popping up now. Did you guys see the? Um, I don't know if obviously when I see this stuff, I'm like, eh, fifty fifty if it's real or not. But it's like uh, this dude, a tally guy, and it's like a TikTok, and he's like filming his wife, and his wife looks super unhappy, and he's like, uh, "What did you ask me for?" And he's like, "I want to spend more time with my f best friend." And what did I uh, did I do that? And he like turns the camera, and he's like, and then on the screen it's like my second wife, and he just married her best friend, married married a friend, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and she's I. Like, Oh my god. Right. I haven't seen that one, but have you seen the memeing coming from the Taliban accounts? They're good actually. Yes. They had a Wojak meme today for fuck's they had sake. That. 
I slid into that guy's DMs, slid Smart. into the Taliban's DMs, nice. and I uh, was just asking if it was really him. And he's in my replies saying it's him, and he's there in Afghanistan right now, full time Wojak memeing for the Taliban. So I promise you, and if you guys do not think that there are Fed posting going on right now, if you don't think there's an entire CIA FBI unit countering them with memes, you're delusional. At least if it isn't <laughs> open, it'll be open within a week with the rate that the Taliban are uh, upping their meme game. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. They've, they've done guerrilla warfare for the last 20 years. As soon as the Taliban slip into mimetic warfare, that sets over. Like, we're, we're fucked, man. Like, <laughs> but, but they're allowed to be on Twitter. They're allowed to be on Twitter. As long as, long as they don't break the rules, they're allowed as to be As long as Twitter. the insurrection is successful. I right. Yes. Yeah. Right. It has yeah. to be successful. <laughs> they had. It was, that... it was like. It was like. What, it's like that thing where it's like you know how the amount of people that you've heard are being kicked off of platforms due to like action behavior off platform. You violated our mm. off platform behavior policy. And I, 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 I know I'm, I'm not an expert or anything, but I think the Taliban has done some things off platform. I yeah. <laughs> that, may, that may you know may may possibly have broken that rule. Yeah, like the translator that they hung and cut off his arms and legs and burned his government ID into his chest and then murdered his family and spared only his 12-year-old daughter so that she could be married to another Taliban. That'd be one what? example. This actually, you know, it seems consistent, actually. So I got banned from Patreon for partaking in behavior that may cause loss of life. It didn't. I remember, it. Yeah. Uh, and if, if these bans are only happening to people who, like, so they didn't get banned, banned because they actually were successful in their insurrection maybe you don't get banned if you're actually successful in the murder that you commit that's actually yeah. a valid yeah. point that's i'm not going to test that theory but lauren i mean that's something probably worth, yeah <laughs> yeah the um yeah it was, was it the, for, for example another example of it is a uh, ramzan kadyrov he's the leader of chechnya and the man literally did a gay holocaust Literally yeah. round, rounded up gay people, put them in camps, executed them, and he's still on Twitter. Who's the guy that says the um, the Jews are t uh, cockroaches and stuff? Isn't he still on? Ayatollah. You're, 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 you're going to need to narrow that the fuck yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like a leader of... Um, oh, the, the Iranian the, guy. Yeah, yeah, one of the sand like nations. The, I, the Iranian fucking I, rock and roller Ayatollah, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's crazy to me um, seeing... Is it Jeremy Corbyn? No! Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it sorry. I, I, it's very easy to get the two confused, yes. Right, yes. yeah. It was dark. You couldn't tell the difference, I understand. Uh, see, see, if you, see if you want an absolute fucking trip, you should actually go into like the documentary and all the notes that came out from uh, Labour's anti-Semitism investigation. Like, I swear to God, see, when you see some of the shit they say, you're like, I can't tell if this is a left-wing political party in Britain or if it's poll. <laughs> Speaking of, I, this is totally random and has nothing to do with what you guys were going to talk about today, but have you ever heard of the YouTuber Cuck Philosophy? I don't think no. so. Okay, he's like a lefty YouTuber. He's done a video on how Jordan Peterson doesn't understand... Um, postmodernism and he's inspired by a big leftist philosopher named Charles Fourier who was actually the guy who uh, coined feminism and inspired Marx and Engels and I just bought his book uh, The Hierarchies of Cuckoldry and Bankruptcy which okay. uh, yeah that title I think describes the average leftist life and I opened this thinking it was going to be some far left content but it's all about screaming about cucks and octoroons and how we need to get rid of the Jews and this is like what? the guy who inspired the majority of like communist socialist thinking back in the 1800s so jesus <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting read if you're looking for something on the toilet no but, i'd rather but, put yeah, it in marx, the toilet marx also well another another you know great leftist philosopher karl marx he, he had a few things to say about the jews i yeah, i've heard yeah, this yeah <laughs> Yeah, he he literally literally cr like wrote a paper called on the Jewish question. <laughs> so so yeah, and like I, I, one one of the things that I love is presenting articles like from that paper, going this is for to, to leftists, and I'm like this is from Mein Kampf. It's horrible, isn't it? And they're like yeah, fucking anti-Semitic, blah blah blah. And I'm like nah, it was actually Karl Marx. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I don't get, because they hold, like, any right-wing or any liberal to these impossibly high standards of, you posted something that could have been interpreted as racist, 
15 years ago that was just a joke meme. But, you know, if it's a leftist philosopher from the 1800s that literally wants to commit a genocide, oh, you know, just gloss over that one. No worries. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> just missed that paper. Is this... I, okay, so I've seen, I've just seen uh, come across my news desk. This may be a good article for tomorrow. Twitter frog account, it's like a rare Pepe. Uh, Twitter frog account successfully negotiates with Taliban to secure safety of Spanish diplomats after government fails. Frog avatar, <laughs> what? This can't be real. Honestly, after the Lord Miles situation, I, this timeline just keeps getting whacked. Did you see somebody, one of us three, did an interview with him? Yeah, I was the I was the first person to get and they'll get fucked everyone else. I was the first. <laughs> really? How's it, he doing? How's Lord Miles holding up? He is currently in a secret location that he didn't want to share with anyone. Basically, but he's in a generic hotel, um, but he's in there for quarantine and that's where he's being kept. So he got out of Afghanistan and flew to Dubai. He flew from Dubai to an RAF base in hmm. Britain, which he can't he can't say where it is, and then he get taken from the RAF base to a hotel. So he's back he's back in Britain and he's safe, but he's in a a hotel for quarantine. So his did you publish that yet? Yeah, I've published it. I sent it out. Like uh, I did have I did have a little chat with him like beforehand and everything, and like uh, I was just trying to get to know him a little bit because. After everything I'd seen and all the stuff that I'd held, I was like, ah, oh, this guy better not be a fed. <laughs> this better not be some glowy up or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But, but no, I, it's I just spoke, Brits abroad. Brits yeah. abroad are a menace on this earth. He's just he's just a standard like conservative Christian. Like that's that that's it. And he's like he wanted to go over to like Afghanistan to do like some sightseeing and stuff, but he wanted to do charity work and all that as well. So you know the Christian Sight, stuff. So yeah, sight, fucking sightseeing, bro. Like go to the fucking, yeah, he, go to the fucking was, Niagara Falls, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I know. He was telling me when I went. I went to see a bird market where they sell all kinds of like birds and stuff, and I'm like. You were in fucking Afghanistan, you fucking maniac. <laughs> like, you went to the bird market. A white guy, too. It was gonna... yeah. Speaking of... Can you uh... imagine if they captured him? Oh, yeah. It's no, just... they've seen him. They've seen him. He walked past him and they recognized him. Like, the, the younger members of the Taliban knew who he was. Really? Like, as, as he was walking through the airport, they were pointing at him and smiling and they started filming him. And I, I made jokes going, Habibi, I seen your thread on 4chan. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, we're more similar than we are different at the end of the day, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, even, even the Taliban, like like a good meme. See, speaking of possible glowy uh, operations, now, of course, I want to preface this by saying, ah, uh, this is just a theory, a speculation. But did uh, do you think, what do you think, the number of people that looked at what happened in Washington today looked at that and thought to themselves, this is definitely something real. It's definitely what happened in Washington? What happened today? Really? Yeah, really. I've been I didn't even like... know about this until you. Oh, the DM. oh my God. Well, you guys are yeah different spots of the world. So a, so a lifelong Trump supporter as reported by CNN pulled his truck up in front of the uh um the whatever the library the the uh where all the expensive books are in in DC I don't fucking know um and said he had uh something that goes boom and that he had his truck full of uh uh ammonium nitrate and then and inside he did a 30 minute manifesto video which I downloaded before Facebook took it out and he had his truck full of coins it, that he said was going to act like uh, yeah, shrapnel. Shrapnel, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is leg actually legit, you know? Yes, um, yes, that's that's something that does get put in bombs. Yeah. yeah, but like thousands of dollars in pennies and quarters. It was stacked. The back of the truck was stacked. And, and let me just say this. The guy looks like a fed. Like he just, and then he's doing this manifesto where he's like, man, you know, Democrats, you know, uh, you're going to have to step down, you know, because the revolution's going to come for you. You know, the South is going to rise again. Like it was, uh, it what was. What does Fed look like? Can you describe that to me? Well, ke well kept facial hair, goatee, thinnish with a pot belly. 
<laughs> how they recruit every fed. I don't know. You just, it just looks. You, you described every football coach. Yeah, yeah. Well, in America, like when you're th- like tall and lanky, it's more odd because more people are thick here, you know? So, like, yeah. when, for example, when I was, I think, like 20, I was uh, <clears throat> playing in my <clears throat> band, but there was this guy that came up. We were outside smoking cigarettes, and this guy's like, um, hey, you guys got any blow? I'm like, no. We were like 18, 19. I was like, no. And he's like, uh, do you want to buy some? And I was like, you're a fucking cop. Like, he had a mustache. He, he looked like a cop. And I was like, so first he's like, hey, do you guys have any blow for me? Oh, wait, I have some. Do you also want to buy? Like, please, I want to get these kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's terrible. That's that's a terrible one. Yeah. Well, Tonto, I, I, just, I just this moment remembered I have cocaine. Uh, yeah right right oh right. i just happened to have it would you young fellows like t- hello fellow youths would you like to buy some cocaine no officer we're good like even then we knew um when you look at this guy's picture like i don't know i don't know if he if he was in the military but like all retired military guys pretty much have a look I just yeah. really want to understand how, like, every time it is a right-wing attacker or bomber, we instantly have every single piece of information of their life since the moment they were born. But then you have these other people, like, you know, that Nashville explosion that happened last year where yeah. it was the beep, beep, beep noise. Or, of course, Las Vegas. The, um, Las Vegas. Nothing. Yeah. Mystery. Ghost. None yeah. of that. This, well, that's yeah. impossible. It's impossible that they know nothing about these. Maybe, people. maybe, maybe it's because it's all been conveniently pre-prepared. I'm just saying. Like... No, it's just a. It's just a theory, Susan. Just. Uh, glory, just a glory theory. Are funny. Some, some of them are terrible at it. Like I told, I told you about the glory that we had at the event that we held. The one that got cancelled, and yeah. we decided to just go to a bar instead. Mm-hmm. Man, man, literally rocked up to us. Now we we did not tell anyone what bar we were in. We did not tell anyone like where we were, and he just rocks up to us like he's part of the group. And the guy, I swear to God, right, he's wearing a fucking Kekistan pendant. I didn't even know those get made, oh, right? He's yeah. wearing a he was wearing a Kekistan pendant and a shirt with just a peppy on it. He just had like a peppy t shirt on it, and he just walks up to us like. How do you do, fellow memos? And like everyone in the group was just like fed, fucking fed, like, like right <laughs> away. And the, and he was, he wasn't even good. He was terrible because like whenever we're out in public, we refer to each other by our usernames in Discord. Yeah, right. We do usernames. We don't do real names in public. So we're sitting talking, and he's he's going like, "Oh, what's what's your name?" And someone would answer. I'm just picking a random name for the chat because I don't want anybody to know who was actually there. Uh, oh, I'm Brave Mister Toast. Oh, I'm Brave Mister Toast. And he was like, "Oh, no, what's your real name?" Oh, fuck so, off. Yeah, yeah. And then he was going like, "Oh, what what do you do for a living?" And oh man, and people were going like that, mate. You met me like five seconds ago, and you're asking me all these questions, and everyone, everyone was just like, "Fed, fed, fed, fed." <laughs> like, your man. phone number and how many guns you own in this notebook I've got here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and how got, did you vote the in the recent point. election? It got it got to the point where we were just like taking the piss out of him. Like one guy was telling a story about what uh, when he was in school when he mentioned the school he went to, and he realised he said it out loud, and he turned to the Fed and went, "Remember and write that down." So anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm like just kept talking, and that's it. The guy left shortly after that because he he kind of realised that he wasn't getting anywhere. But like even though even though he had been blatantly been made, like hats off to him, he hung around for like another half hour, still trying. Well, if you guys were, if if what they say about you and your ilk were true, and and he got outed, like he wouldn't have been able to walk out. You know what I mean? Ah, like, yeah. Here's a here's the very first sentence in the article uh, of the event that happened today that was just coincidentally at the height of Joe Biden criticism on his extraction plan in Afghanistan. Very first sentence: A man with a history of supporting former President Donald Trump and who has said all Democrats need to step down, was arrested. How the the first article we get is about his support of Donald Trump. But, you know... So what, wait, what is the evidence of that? Because I remember when um, Connor 
Connor Betts, was that his name? What was that leftist shooter? Uh, When that came out, one of the main articles that I saw was misogynist shooter. And then when you would read the rest of it, it talked about the fact that he was a member of Antifa and all of this stuff. So, like, is what is the evidence they have that he was a Trump supporter and is there further context? Because the headlines of articles can literally be the opposite of what they actually say. Well, he owned a truck. Yeah. So... He was... <laughs> I actually want, like I won't deny there are obviously going to be crazy people on of every course. side. I don't yeah. deny it, but I am curious to, as to what the article actually yeah. says. What is the uh, what article are you reading? It's the CNN. I can put it in. I just have this. Yeah, put it in the Discord. I want yeah. to check it out. The um, so the interesting thing was, hold on, I'm going to pull this up. Yeah. Um, when when I watched his entire 30 minute manifesto. And he never once says anything about Donald Trump. That doesn't mean he wasn't, right? Um, but he also has 70, you know, how many people voted for Trump? Like 50 80, or 80, 80 million? 80, 81 million. Yeah. Yes. You know, they Most don't, popular president in American history. But they don't start out those same articles on CNN. A Biden supporter in so- downtown Chicago mowed down a family at a grill event. Like they don't, or a, a local barbecue ended in bloodshed when a biden voter um, yeah. let me, i'm trying to find the original lauren i just screenshotted it um, yeah, yeah so it's saying he frequently made pro-trump posts and oh you found it already okay Trump's million make a march yeah, yeah way ahead of you here yeah patriot so yeah and i maybe he was but it just felt like the timing was like so convenient it's like it's like newspaper articles from back in the, from like back in the day where they're like today a black man <laughs> surprising right yeah right. <laughs> wink wink yeah 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 it was um now look maybe the what is this it's like he just kept telling us i want to make a change okay if this is like unironic and this dude actually did this what kind of change did he think driving a bomb down to the capitol and getting himself arrested was gonna make? Not I want everyone in the audience to know if someone ever tells you you can make change by driving a car bomb outside the Capitol. you might like, be a no, muslim like no like <laughs> i'm sorry my dudes <laughs> Not only is that not going to do anything, it's probably going to work against the cause like it does every single time. Yeah, this is going to be a hundred yeah, yeah, times it worse. Does. It, yeah. it does. Like any, like that. That's the thing. Like no movement that has resorted to violence, right? Unless there's a lot of them. Unless there's a, like, unless they totally like outnumber the government or some shit like that. But that's it's never going to get to that stage. But like anyone that goes like on a mass shooting or like murders someone or like petrol bombs a fucking building with immigrants in it like that antifa guy yeah <laughs> like fucking like not none of that shit works like mass shootings car bombs all that shit none of it works all it does is it makes everyone hate you and everyone in your movement get associated with crazies and none of it works so like there's really no point in ever doing it you're you're actively like fucking up your own message well the guy like i i believe that regardless of political affiliation there's probably a good cross section of crazy people, like uh, yeah. On both oh, there, there, always, there always is. Yeah, there yeah. always is. There's, there's crazy communists, crazy Nazis, crazy libertarians, crazy conservatives. There's, 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 every, every single group has its nutters. But every fucking group. And they're all like three YouTube videos away from being a nutter on one of the other sides. Like, yes, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, they're like um, as long as they watch Hunter Hunter Avalon, will radicalize them. But the the uh the guy in a 30 minute video instead of saying he supposedly understands this um acoustic detonation device which is attached to his 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 bomb and he instead of saying decibels he he consistently referred to them as decimals he kept saying when the decimals get high enough in here man this thing's going to go boom and i'm, I'm kind of watching this video thinking like bro you have a auditory trigger on this thing and you are calling it decimals like this dude somebody paid this schizophrenic dude they found down at the bar who's a psycho to go do this and uh that's just what i think i don't know this for a fact it's just a, it's just a theory maybe 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 it's totally legit and it happened 
exactly as CNN says it did. Maybe. Hold on, hold on. So basically, is this is this like the shit version of speed where it's like if the, yes. if the radio in this car gets turned up to twenty, like everybody dies. Like, like yes. is that it? Yeah, he said. Was, if you I, shoot I, out I my throw, windows, I would throw a firework at him. <laughs> right. He's got like, like a diesel truck, the radio on loud, and he says if there is if if there's too loud a noise, it's gonna blow up. And I'm like, he said the only way you know it's, if you shoot me through my window, it's gonna blow up. Like, so there wasn't a single loud noise between where he drove, which I think was Florida, because he in his like manifesto he said thank you Atlanta and all these other states for allowing me to get through. Like I think he traveled from, you know, somewhere down there. Um, and uh, anyway, I thought it was a convenient break in the news cycle of constantly getting Joe Biden dunked on. But maybe it was, maybe it all happened. Yeah. I would yeah. just ev- evacuate the area, hack the Bluetooth in his truck, put on BFG division. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro- problem solved. <laughs> I'm getting so, I'm looking at the discourse right now about this dude. They're all posting photos. Look at this white rage, big act, loving patriot, not Antifa, not BLM. Shut up. Like you guys literally had a nation of Islam Antifa guy try to do the same thing at the Capitol. Like what? A few months ago? He did. This he is killed why- a guy. Yeah, no, agreed. And he actually yeah. killed a guy. So they're getting mad. They're like a white man who, despite snipers, is still alive. Well, the other dude got shot because he killed someone. Right. Like, it, it makes me so mad. And this is why this whole sitting around and being that meme of, please let the shooter be white, please let the shooter be Antifa is so yeah. stupid because it's all, there is literally a terrorist that is aligned to every single ideology. On the planet, because it's just a mentally ill person who has picked a cause and decided they want to go kill people and they're going to, wh- whatever floats their boat right, that day, yeah. they're going to use as their excuse to do it. And then, it, like, these people, they will never acknowledge, like, they do the thing to me all the time, even though the uh, Christchurch shooter never mentioned me once, they always say, you're responsible for that, I see Lauren. that, I saw and that in your debate, I was never, like, what the hell? Yeah, they'll never acknowledge, uh, you know, Connor Betts, they'll never acknowledge the, um gay nightclub pulse shooting they'll never acknowledge yeah. uh, all the deaths of communism and like if this is the standard we have it's so like below room temperature smooth brain take remember yes, when we blame everyone for i was i, I was I, I, with you i've had that over the past few weeks as well because of that fucking loser for plymouth the one um, that went on the mass shooting it's yeah. britain's britain's first mass shooting in 11 years and everyone's like he was subscribed to Count Dankula, obviously. Oh. And Count Dankula radicalized him. And I went, really? What video? Was it the one about fucking Buster Keaton? What about the video I did about a fucking pigeon? Maybe it's the one that I uploaded like just last week about farting. Yeah, getting paid but to like, fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what, man? Like, what, what video fucking <laughs> radicalized him? Tell me, please. Like, they only like, posted a few of the channels he followed. I like. I Did you see a full list? Because no one yes. posted the full list. Yes. And I'm wondering, he followed- it was like, Okay, yeah, go ahead. He, he followed fucking everyone. He was following over 300 channels. He was following Philly D. He was following fucking oh, Boogie. He was sake. following. He was following all the standard channels. Basically, he was just a. It was right winger, right? Because I have all the standard YouTube channels I follow, and I have a bunch of right wing ones and some left wing ones, right? And it's like, huh, would you believe this guy was right wing? Like, yeah, I do. He followed all the standard like YouTube channels and then some right wing channels. Like every single other fucking right winger on earth that has a YouTube account, <laughs> like, oh, and but they were gosh. going, but the one that annoyed me as well is they were like, yeah, he was subscribed to Tommy Robinson, and I was like, no, he wasn't. Tommy Robinson has been banned from YouTube for a long time. Years. You cannot, subs- you cannot yeah. subscribe to a banned channel. Yeah, like I, I, I'm about to do a debate on the whole Manosphere stuff tomorrow. I think there's a lot of cringe in there that needs to be called out. Good people too, some good folks, um, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, there's just being subscribed to someone, picking that out as evidence of you caused this is the most bad faith. I, I mean, they know. They know what they're doing. It doesn't really matter. You can paint whatever narrative you want online these days with a few screenshots, and it'll yeah. end up with 50,000 shares. Well, like, it was like, remember <laughs> when everybody in the United States absolutely knew that that incel uh, who killed the people at the tug rub and tug places it was definitely an anti-asian thing even when yeah. like news came out that there was like well it was like three asians and like uh two 
uh, whatever White others. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like, stop Asian hate, number one trending. Because people are so obsessed. <laughs> I love, I love, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just laughing at the part that it was Robin Tugs and everyone <laughs> immediately went, stop Asian hate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they had I'm one. Just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying sometimes the girls in that place are Lithuanian. That's right, right just, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they told you you were going to work in an office, didn't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, they had one of those in my hometown, and it was like in the paper. And my dad, bless his heart, it's just like, what does that? What does that mean? He's like asking. He, me. He, he fucking knows what it means. I know. So I said, like, Dad, you. I like you've been there. You've been there, Dad. I know. I came to your house once, and I saw that you had big busty babes thirteen on the DVR. Like I know that you know what that is. So I was like, I, I Dad. Recently... Oh. oh, sorry. No, sorry, go ahead. Finish go ahead. your story. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I recently befriended some whores, and mm. they asked me to call them whores. They thought that's nice. an endearing term. Okay. And one of them actually has that story. They, they are, they're leaning right wing because they got kicked out of all of the uh, ugly mug lists, which whores typically keep so it's a list of men who abuse beat or rape women and they'll yeah. make these lists and give them out to all the other sex workers so that they know not to use these clients and these two girls got kicked out and don't have access to the lists anymore because they supported trump like uh -huh. imagine that imagine denying a list of literal rapists and woman abusers just because they voted for trump like oh, you voted <laughs> you voted trump guess you can just get raped then yeah, right literally. yeah so you chose this life you did that. You did it to you. I, I don't know. Yeah, um, it's messed up. It, one of them just started as a secretary at the place and decided she loved it. Oh, oh, a secretary at a, a rub and tug. Rub and tug. Yeah, she yeah. had no idea that, that was what it was. Oh, but, uh, imagine, imagine having to explain that to people. Like, no, no, no. I, I just, I just, I do the books. Like, yeah, like every woman not... that I meet who, who works at a strip club and says she's just a shock girl. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah, fucking yeah, ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I watch porn because I like the acting. Yeah, I read the articles in fucking Playboy. Yeah, okay. The um, So, by the way, in case you guys haven't figured it out, uh, Lauren Southern joins us today. Um, she has a YouTube channel um, and a verified Twitter account uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't uh, know how I've kept that. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, she's been around a long time. She gets around. And um, lately... She's been doing some debates, which I thought I would ask her about. How how are you on time? I know she had a previous engagement. Uh, but... Let me see what. Oh, sh I probably have to go in about fifteen. Because that's I've enough. Got, um, yeah, I'm, I'm already getting Twitch. sick of you. It's fine. So yeah, the absolutely the uh, damn it now that my little joke screwed me all up. That's what I get. <laughs> um, so this latest debate about indigenous uh, oh, stuff, one. right? So I, yes. I saw my favorite argument from that debate was that the churches all burned down because the priests put the incense near the essential oils in like a once. dozen churches all at the same time. Is that my, my understanding yeah, that argument, right? Dozens of churches. Correct. Yes. It's uh, an act an of God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> an indigenous uh, scholar who uh, considers himself... I mean, both of the individuals I was debating, the Surf's TV and Twin Tail something or other, yeah. both consider themselves expert on the subject. And uh, yeah, oh, their two think main he's arguments were that the churches conveniently burnt themselves down all at the same time. Obviously, the priests were the ones doing the graffiti as well. And then the second right. one was that the mass graves in Canada that no bodies have been exhumed from, some of which are actually just graveyards, are mass graves because mass means big. And they're big graveyards. What? <laughs> I missed that. I'm not one. kidding. That was an argument made in the debate. The definition of mass is big. Therefore, if it is a big graveyard, it is a mass grave. <laughs> well, that is a. I suppose that is a big. That is a mass true. Um, it's not the yeah. way anyone else uses that term, but. Your, your first mistake was debating Lance from the Serfs because I've, I've debated him before and he has a, he has, you know, no, be no better way to put it. He's a fucking retard. He's actually so stupid. Like, I debated him because he says that I destroyed UKIP, you know, the whole uh, Sargon and Dankula, like, right, totally right. destroyed UKIP, even though I have no idea why they run with that story because the real reason is so much tastier. Oh, like, yeah. The real, yeah, it, it was, the yeah. Yeah. Like, the real reason, I've, I've, I've made it public 
like it was Nigel Farage. He yeah. backstabbed the entire party. Like that's why I'm like, why are you going for a couple of YouTubers instead of like the big right wing political figurehead that literally made Brexit happen? But no, fuck that. Like, let's just make up some bullshit to dunk on Dankula and Sargon. Like, but uh, basically, what he says a bunch of shit about that. He went, oh. Dankula was begging for donations during his political campaign and uh, he, he destroyed UKIP and then I went on his stream and I went never once did I beg for political donations I didn't take any donations during my political campaign I went post evidence of it and he was like bleh, 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 bleh. well I can't I'm like okay so he made it up I was like and also here's the true story about what happened with UKIP right and this was his big fucking dunk right where he, he, he called himself an aspiring comedian <laughs> right, he's an aspiring comedian, right? And then at the end of the thing, he went, "You know what? I was just joking when I said those things, and I'm not going to apologize. I'm not saying I'm sorry. Yeah, slam dunk. Fuck you, Dankula." And then I just went, and then I just went, I, I never at any point asked you to say sorry. Yeah. And he was like, and then it, you, you see his face just sort of sinking, and I'm like. Right, so those things you said apparently were jokes, but your own audience believed them, right? Because they were tweeting at me with all this shit, and I went, so basically all that happened here was you've embarrassed yourself, and for an aspiring comedian, you don't know how to tell a joke because everyone <laughs> thought you were being serious. And it was, it was, oh, I, I don't think he's kept the VOD up anymore because it was, it was a train wreck. I was laughing so hard at the end of it because he just humiliated himself. Yeah, I've never seen such shocking behavior from a content creator. Like, I don't understand why he puts himself in these situations. Like, I didn't ask to debate him. He asked to debate me. And, like, uh -huh. I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, we'll debate the topic of your choice. And absolutely just collapses. I, I don't understand. Humiliation fetish, maybe. I don't know. We'll have well, to he's, he's he's doing he's doing what Vosh does. Basically, tell a bunch of big lies about a uh, right-wing content creator... The content creator goes, well, let's fucking debate on it then. They'll then invite you on the show, but then as soon as you're on, they will try and change the subject immediately to a, a, top, a topic that they've prepared for, but you haven't. Vosh tried to do the exact same thing to me, except I just stayed on topic the entire time and he absolutely crumbled. It's why he's never interacted with me since. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. and Lance, Lance has realised that wow that that's really deceitful as fuck. But you make a lot of money, and you know that socialists love money. Yeah, he, it's he weird, doesn't it? <laughs> he finished our debate with just every single lie he could possibly think of to call me Nazi fascist. This and then um, he was like, "Let's debate on this, Lauren." So I arranged to do it, and I was like, "Okay, let's do it on Destiny's show." Nope can't do it on destiny's show i was like okay we're in the same city let's do it in real life nope also can't no. do it in real life also no and i'm like but you yeah. said you wanted to call me a fascist to my face can't do it because these people can never actually say these things to your face they are absolute cowards their narratives crumble about you not being a human being and being this monster as soon as they shut the computer off and touch grass but uh <laughs> oh man and the re I'll tell you right now, the reason they choose YouTubers, uh, Dankula, instead of, like, Farage or celebrities to go after is the same reason the media will talk about the crimes of PewDiePie well before they talk about the crimes of Prince Andrew. And it's because YouTubers do not have the same, like, established legal financial background that big celebrities and politicians have to defend themselves in a court of law so the all of these people want stories as spicy from people as famous as celebrities that will get lots of views but they want to make sure they can get away with lying and making them spicier than they actually are so they choose youtubers who do not have all of the publicists in the world and the legal teams that are going to snap on it right away because they don't want to end up like Gawker. Gawker did it yeah. wrong. They went after someone famous, made a big lie and got sued and got their asses kicked. So now BuzzFeed, Daily Dot, all these people go after people that are famous that people want to click on and see, but can't, you know, can't sustain a 10 year court battle. That's actually a really yeah. good point. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that <clears throat> that probably makes that probably explains a lot of it because there's it, it is interesting, some of the heinous stuff, uh, it, you know, even that gets said among YouTubers, too. Like, there are, are yeah. large YouTubers. Um, let's say, like, there's this guy that's always, like, that betrayed the commentary community and turned out to be a huge pussy. Um, but this guy will go right up to calling other people pedophiles, you know, and all this stuff and get away with it. And um, it's because he knows they're not going to sue him. You know, he can just do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, but you start messing with Hollywood people, 
you know, they'll serve you. They've got budget for that. They've got, you know, they don't have to even touch it. They've got a whole, you know, team. They will get, they will get like the equivalent of like a lawyer on steroids to send like a big, scary cease and desist. And mm-hmm. base and like the cease and desist is like, yeah, they delete that or we will fuck you. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, that debate uh, was uh, interesting. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did, I did watch most of it, but then I was also mostly interested in the fallout. And now you got to, you got to dip soon. But uh, I do, I really have to go. I am like literally not. I'm uh, in pajamas, and I'm all right, all right, all right. Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do your but thing. If you give me more notice. Yeah, no, I appreciate you filling in. Um, uh, your Twitch, well, your YouTube, you're Lauren Southern on YouTube, obviously, but then on Twitch. Um, what is the link there? Lauren Southern live on Twitch. I'm brand new there, so I'm a total boomer with it. Uh, lots of technical difficulties, but it's mm. fun to, I've got a few debates set up in the coming weeks. I'm looking forward to it. That space needs help. It needs assistance. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's just radicalizing 14 year olds to become communists all day when they thought they were going on there to watch video games. I 100% agree with you, and I, I wish you to go go in peace, Habibi, and um, you know make sure that uh, you know you uh, represent actual non communists well over on Twitch. So if you're if you're listening live or you uh, are listening to the VOD, make sure you check out Lauren. I'm sure many of you already watch her on YouTube, but definitely go follow her on Twitch. It costs you nothing, and um, that way you'll get notified when she goes live. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me and uh, inshallah, brother. Yeah, we shall chat again soon. <laughs> Amigi, <laughs> wallahi, <yeah. laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Uh, okay, Lauren Southern. Um, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't spoke to Lauren in fucking ages, man. Yeah, I think um, I talked to her a while. I mean, it was definitely a while back. Um, I think the last time we actually like, saw each other in person was when I was getting fucking sentenced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think she was out there when she was still. This is like peak Tommy Robinson era. Um, yeah, she, was, uh, yeah she, she she got to experience like some of the shit that the courts were saying about me, and I I, I came outside like during a break, and she was so fucking angry. She was like. The prosecutor's just lying about you. And I was like, yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's good. I think I, I watched her debate. She's still pretty sharp. Um, and uh, I know that she's you, tried to. What are you trying to say? You try to say? No, I'm just saying, like, I, it's been a while since <laughs> I consumed her content. And I just kind of, yeah. that wasn't a joke. Like, uh, it's. I, she had kind of disappeared for a while, and then I know that she is trying a bit of a rebrand. Um, but uh, uh, she was she starting a family and stuff like that. I mean, that's that's the best reason to take a break. Yeah, yeah. So I know she's kind of getting started back up. I know she debated with uh, the Turks and absolute she, the the Young Turks lost that debate. So not Young Turks, the Serfs or whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, they lost that debate so bad it sent the entirety of BreadTube into a civil war for two weeks. Really, yeah. it was that bad. I know, I know that I know that a lot of people on the left like don't fucking like the Serfs. He, he acts like he's part of BreadTube, but they don't like him. They don't like him because he makes them look bad. And she, she, yeah, it was that bad. And then, um, like, um. Who's the guy that makes all the videos about me? Creationist Vadim, like people are shitting on Vadim for and Vadim, everyone was Vadim's fighting. A clown. Yeah, <laughs> Vadim's such a clown, man. Like honestly, like he's like see, no matter how much he's the guy that was around, he was around since like the uh, atheism. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. real tips fedora. But like the hilarious thing about him is. Even though he debated against all of that, no matter how much evidence you slap in front of him, it doesn't get through, man. Like it's I know, just, yeah, it's just not worth it. The um, you, you know, a lot of these, well, I I just had given up on interacting with these people because, you know, I know it's easy to just just say that, oh, ha, huh, that's because you would get totally wrecked. Yeah, maybe I would. I don't know. But I don't think any of them debate in good faith, and I can just see that as a viewer. Yeah. So it's like, why would I waste my time? You know, they don't. There's there's a lot who actually like uh, don't 
they, they a lot of them don't they do this whole like say a lot of them bitch about alex jones but they like they debate like alex jones tells the news have you noticed yeah, that yeah. Ev everything's exaggerated everything's hyperbole like all across the board <clears throat> and one of, one of the things as well like but one of the things and this is weird as fuck right is the mo the best debates like with leftists i've ever had are like people that i know irl right because we'll be sitting we'll be sitting we'll be having a drink and we will be debating and we'll be arguing and stuff like that but there's no insults there's no jack shit and then at the end of it we'll just go oh well we don't agree anyway do you want another drink like, yeah, yeah, like, and right, it's, and right. It's normal, aye, and it's normal, but then there's other ones as well, like alt writers as well, ones that I've talked to in DMs. We will argue back and forth and stuff like that, but at the end of it, like they're chill. Like there's no, there's no like horrible, like mean stuff at the end of it. But I think the main reason that like these leftists do that is because the hyperbole and the exaggeration it fucking sells, man. I mean, it's it's the trait that their, yeah. their ideas need those as training wheels. Yeah, I mean, I that's, that's a big cool. part of it. And that's that's why, like, I don't I don't engage with these people unless it's IRL. Like, yeah. I, you know, I've said this before about Sophane or whatever. Like, I've gotten – I've slammed many drinks with that guy. Always got along with him great, you know, because we talk in real life. But if we tweet at each other, then shit gets personal and it's weird and – you know, you have that way. Yeah, I've I've had a I've had a bit of a back and forth on Twitter with him as well, and I found him to be a bit of a retard. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's always been. It's one of those things where I can just say, like, you know, he's always been kind to me in real life, and I'm a bit softer about it. Like, I just, I don't care. Like, it's just shit. That, like owning somebody online. Maybe this is just part of getting older, but I just don't fucking care. Like, I just. It seems like guys like Lance, who will probably, you know, restream this entire stream uh, as uh, high quality content. He he needs to dunk on people because he's so cripplingly uh, insecure. Like, it's just so obvious. Like, I guarantee if I was like he the guy, like if I went to the bar or something like that, you know, he'd be the guy in the group of guys that all of his friends make fun of him. And he just sits there and laughs and pretends it doesn't crush him inside. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a reason I do it. I do it a lot on Twitter, but there's a reason that I do it is because I'm an entertainer and people find it entertaining. Like I know the person that I'm arguing with, like is not going to agree with me. But that's not the point of a debate. Any debate, any argument, you're not going to win over the person you're debating. Your job is to win over the audience. Right. Right. Now, just just because a thread doesn't have a lot of likes, like there's so many people that like read threads on Twitter and don't like any of the comments. Like, see, see, even though that like a tweet might have like two likes, at least like a, hundreds to thousands of people have seen that tweet. A lot of people don't interact like on Twitter. So basically, I've just made fun of this fucking idiot, and thousands of people got to laugh at them. And that right. was entertaining, like they enjoyed it, and also it kind of makes people go like that. Man, leftists are idiots, and I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's um, it's funny because so much, in my experience, the level of discourse when you get past the uh, obvious use of the sor the is <laughs> so bad that it's like. You know, okay, you know a bunch of big words. Like I was watching, oh my god, I was watching Vosh on on uh, on uh, that podcast show um, that brings guests in, and um, he goes, uh, "If they're on time, <laughs> yeah, if they're on time." He goes, uh, "What was it?" He goes, um, uh, "CRT." It was like CRT isn't real, and he's like, "Actually, um, see, that's where you're wrong. Me and the entire educational community agrees with me." I'm like. No, but no, it doesn't. And he just, they just say shit like that. And I'm like, dude, no, they don't. Like, are you, I mean, you mean the HVAC and the, and the trade schools, they, they buy into CRT. I don't think so. Um, it, you know, and, but they just say shit. And because they talk really fast and they use big words, the, the people that watch them that are just, they're slightly dumber. They think they're smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like one of there's a lot of buzzwords used, have you noticed? Yes, yes. Like they they yeah. use they use a lot of like buzzwords 
and everything, heter- heteronormative patriarchy, and like mm-hmm. all these big words and everything. And I'm like, that is some alphabet soup diarrhea. Like, I don't care. Like, shut up with these fucking stupid terms that you say just to make yourself sound smart. And uh, have you read th- theory? Yeah, I've read theory, and it says you're a fucking gimp. Right. Like, like that's that's all you need. <laughs> like, every time they talk like that, I I mean, you just know, you just know that like these dudes are not well liked by regular people like yeah. that they couldn't yeah. just get along with people at the pub because they they probably try to you know they'd be talking to some fucking dude that's been laying bricks his whole life you know like some mason and he would be trying to flex intellectually on him like because again in my opinion these people are all deeply insecure if vosh looked now like he looked 5 years ago I don't think he would be as an insufferable leftist. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's... It's like, if, if, like, I, I know this sounds really mean, but you know how the events that me and you have been at where, like, left-wingers have been present, right? Yep. It yeah. was a mix, mixed event. Have you not noticed how we were all hanging out and being bros while a lot of them were, like, even though they're all leftists, like they could have sat together instead they were like sitting alone and we had to like invite them over yeah, to like yeah. come you're like don't worry we don't bite we're we're talking about video games not the jewish questions yeah come over yeah. and sit with us and have a beer don't worry it's fine it's like yeah okay we argued on twitter but I'm, it doesn't mean i'm gonna beat you up dude <laughs> at the man, last i'm, I'm because I'm a lot bigger in real life. <laughs> yeah, well, wait, you know, yeah, you are, but imagine a lot of these manlets meeting me in real life. The, yeah, uh, yeah, you're, you're tall as fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, so, at the last Myth Informed I was at, the event started at, there's some sort of food. I never eat, f- like, free event-provided food. I'm, I'm like, it's going to be garbage. Let's go out to an actual restaurant in the area or whatever. But So they had the free food. Every one of the leftists were there getting their free, like, you know, uh, school lunch, lunch or dinner or whatever. And I think they served it at like five o'clock or something like that. And then there was like a mixer at, at like nine o'clock where you could drink and, and chill with everyone. I got there at like 930 because who the fuck shows up right when it starts. And then um, I walked in with like Sydney Watson and like her little her whole girl power crew. And there wasn't a single leftist anywhere. I was like, oh, I wonder if Destiny's here. I want to talk to him, you know? No, gone. Um, a lot of the other lefty guys, gone. Lefty girls, gone. I'm like, where the fuck is everyone? They're like, oh, they left at 6.30 as soon as the food was gone. I'm like, well, you know they, fuck. You know what they say about left, lefties? They, they, they love free shit. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was like, damn, dude. Like, I wanted to, I legit, well, Sofane was there. But like I legitimately wanted to like, you know, meet some of these weirdos in real life because I just refuse to believe that they're that nuts, you know? Yeah, like a lot um, there, there has been like we've spoken about this before, like mu- music man Mike, he's chill, but he's yeah. he's disappeared. He's vanished. Like I don't know where he's I don't even think he's on Twitter anymore or anything. Like the man's no. just gone. He got banned like, a long I've... time ago off Twitter. Uh and then at last I talked to him was at like a MythCon fucking three years ago. Yeah. Four years ago. And I haven't seen him. He hasn't made any videos. He hasn't, as far as I know, you know, he's completely off the grid. Probably like the, 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 the online life can get stressful sometimes. For the week, yes. So yes. during a, yeah, you, you, do, you, do, you do actually need to be quite mentally strong. You do. With people lying about you all the fucking time yeah people all the time. people ask me that like how do you deal with it or this or that or whatever i'm just like i just yeah it did bother me early on and then eventually you just get so callous and full of hate uh that you yeah. just like don't fucking care anymore like you stop trying to correct you know how many people have called me a racist like today with zero yeah. evidence because <laughs> because one time okay. one time I made an off the cuff mark about well black folks do be like in watermelon chicken like a like a Chappelle bit and then they'll like clip, they clip that and they're like see he's a racist I'm like come on like I had that when I was on that BBC show that get cancelled because I was on the BBC show uh, 
Basically, yeah. I, had, I had one girl going like, it was funny because she was a Guardian journalist and she did this whole like, do you have any idea, do you even care about how your jokes affect people like me? And I went, no. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, yeah. Care, jokes, right? But then she was like, do you know what it's like to be harassed online? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, do you? I was like, I had like three death threats before I even got into the studio this morning. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, I'm like, you know, man, I'm like, oh no, pixels on a screen. What am I going to do, man? I'll just fucking fire up another fucking game of Warzone. Like, I don't, like, like I'll admit, see, see, for someone that's not experienced in that and out of the blue, you have every journalist, every leftist and shit like that, like lying about you, like just all the hyperbole and exaggeration. It's terrifying. At first, it's terrifying. And you. At first, and see, because we we do live in an egotistical age where everyone is extremely like concerned and bases their whole life around what other people think of them. Yeah, right. And it is, it is, and I was like that. I, I remember during the Nazi pug thing, I was like, "Oh my god, the entire country thinks I'm racist. Like, I, my life is over. That's it. It's done. It's fucked." Even though, even though, like, I'm clearly not. And I, I don't like actual racism. Don't clip that though, because I don't, don't want anyone thinking I'm nice. Right. But, <laughs> I get yeah. It. But but like like at first I was terrified of it, but now I've I've sort of arrived at a point of if there is someone who just so readily believes the bullshit that's fed to them, then I kind of don't want them in my life. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? So it's it's almost like there is a plus to it because. It keeps stupid people away from you. Well, you like, can't. Yeah, okay. you just. I, yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, I had. I'm shilling that new PC company this week. Every time I get a new sponsor, I purposely will tell them, here's what people will say about me. I have like a prepared document, basically. Yeah. Here's what people will say about me. Here's the truth. Uh, and if you so choose and you want to still go forward and you fuck me i'm gonna be pissed and i'm gonna say something like there have been sponsors that have left in the past that i haven't put on blast but you know it's like when it's the ones that are like oh we can take it we're, we can take it and then like two days later like oh my god like a certain a vpn company that uh starts with the letter n like suddenly yeah. they couldn't have edgy content creators e or uh, the people that make them, um, I don't even care about saying this. This is just my opinion, people out there listening. The people that do the wargaming games, uh, ba yeah. World of Warships, they specifically told me to put my video, put them in my edgy videos, and then they fucking bitched out after like a week. Um, yeah, I got no time for that. There's, there's certain sponsors I won't work with anymore. Um, but like, there, there are some who. Like I, I I love right for example like Pla Plarium Games Pla the, 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 the people the people that em. make the people that make Raid Shadow Legends right and the best thing about them is like they're based in Israel and people sent them emails going he's a Nazi and they were like shut up no he isn't yeah right <laughs> right and it's just like that that I fucking love but there are companies that I I will not work with anymore either because like one one company like pulled out because I I got a false strike. I got a false strike on like a four year old fucking video. Right. I contacted YouTube and it got removed. But see how when you get a strike and you can't upload for a week. Right, right. Yeah. So I said to them like, sorry guys, video's delayed. I've got a false strike on my channel. Like it's it's a nonsense thing. It'll it'll get resolved. As soon as it's resolved I'll upload the video. And they were like, Oh oh, oh you got a strike. Oh we 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 want to like pull the plug and I was like Mate, like I'm not involved in controversy. It's a false strike. These happen. Yeah, these happen sometimes. And they went, "Oh no, we're, 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 we don't want to do it anymore." And I went, "Well, it's all recorded and everything. I did all the work. Fucking pay me." Right, right. And, and, yeah, and they and will I, pay you sometimes too. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, they they paid me, and uh, since then they have contacted me, and I'm like, "Nah, nah, you're all right. You're all right." I, I've I've accepted their competitor a few times. But I mean, yeah. that's, that's, what, that's what they get for being skittish shits. And there was also another company that I will not fucking work with who tried to rip me off. Tried to say, oh, um, if, if that's your price, uh, this this is what we actually like pay creators. So if you could do it for this price. No. And I went, 
you know we all talk to each other, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. You know we share the yeah, numbers, yeah. right? I, yeah, I was like, we, we all, we all, we all talk. We all talk to each other. We know exactly how much you pay. And I was like, and I don't appreciate the fact that you just tried to fuck me. Right? And, 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 I've, and I've, I've never, I've never heard back from them since. You know, man. But there are other companies that I'll happily do. Like Ray, Raycon are fucking brilliant, right? Raycon yeah. are excellent. And the thing is, like their their product, I use. I use my Raycons all the fucking time. Right, I use them like every day yeah. when I go in on the train, and I'm like, see, see if it's like that, like if it's a good product or something, and there's no behind the scenes sketchy shit. I'm hoping twenty years down the line, it doesn't turn out that they're giving everyone brain cancer. Yeah, it'd be nice. Like, it'd be nice. I'm, I'm, jo- I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm joking. Like, yeah. I don't think that's how Bluetooth works. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like shit like that. There are, there are sponsors that are great, and there are some that I just will not work with again, either because they were dodgy or because they were skittish or because they were a nightmare to fucking work for. Yeah, I got one yeah. right now that I'm on my fourth I'm on my fourth revision and they're Oh oh no man, after after two that's when you start charging. Well they I just said that I just said that that's it that it's it. Like this is the last yeah. revision you're getting. Or unless you pay me more because you're wasting my time. Yeah. And then you know the thing is just like with women the, they're going to be high. You just know they're going to be paying. Like then they're going to complain that you didn't get enough views on your video, or they're going to they're going to you know we didn't get enough you know you didn't give us enough value for our money even after you bend over backwards for them. Yeah, but that's that's the thing with YouTube. Some videos do well, some videos don't. Like I like the thing is yeah. like my not my mad lads always like bang views like I yeah. I was getting fucked in the algorithm about a month and a bit ago but now I'm I'm back into it and I'm doing well except my my farting video absolutely fucking bombed. Well, did you, just, it's did, because the word you know, fart is trick is um is not okay. Really? Yeah, the word fart oh. and the word fart and even farting noises are uh one of the trigger words. Ah oh, fuck! I was wondering why that underperformed. Like fuck! Oh well. Yeah. Oh yeah. well. Fuck it. It happens. But the thing was, that was that was red, and I said to them like, "Sorry, sorry, guys. Like the algorithm just didn't show it any love whatsoever." And they were just like, "Ah, oh, it's cool. It happens sometimes because they've they've been in other videos that get a lot of views." So they're like, "Yeah, it's fine. Like it happens." But I know. I know, I know that Raid absolutely love it when one of my videos that they're on just pounds fucking views and overperforms yeah, yeah. like fuck. <laughs> like I know they fucking love that. Yeah, they they but they they they've always been good good by me too. Like they just they they don't uh, they don't bust my chops too much. Um, Have you been contacted about the new game? I already ran an ad, bro. Mecarina. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, man. I've got my. Like, did you did you do the unboxing? <laughs> No, I didn't. No, no, no. Oh, mate, mate, they sent me. They sent me like a, a special package that I had to unbox on stream. Oh um, no! Like, I'm, yeah. So basically, the, the, it's going in a video at the end of the month, which is about an hour long. So I've, I've put about a four minute advert in an hour long video, which is that, which is That's fine. Fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like, I have to do like an unboxing during it, and I'm just like, I can't. I can't describe it. Right. You're just gonna have to watch it. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's, yeah. It's, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> but like, Me- Mech Arena seems to be the new big one. Like, so see how it all depends, though. So see how the way things went with Raid, where like mm-hmm. the adverts just went fucking insane with Raid at the beginning, right? I, I think that's about to happen with uh, Mech Arena. I hope so. Oh, I hope so as well. I'm not. I played I'm not it. Even, yeah. I played it. It's actually quite good. <laughs> it's it's fine. Yeah, I played it for a little yeah. bit. It's not bad. Um, yeah. So, okay, so Durna 1804 for five. People like Vosh are the result of society overvaluing intelligence to the point where dimwits whip themselves into a frenzy trying to look smart. True. Donkey Saw says, behind about 30 minutes, but Biden has a history of supporting terrorism. He supported in fundraising for the IRA during the Troubles. It's okay, Dink. A number of people don't mind your burnt steak types. Rock and Ruin for 20. Thank you, John Smith. Have you seen that clip of Vosh talking about Israel and Judaism? He's obviously just making stuff up. It's hilarious. I did see the one where he says that uh, they should turn it into glass and that the world will be better off. That's his words, not mine. <laughs> uh, Redneck Hero says, Dink, so glad to see you uploading on the regular now. Love you, man. Jeremy, you too. And Rich is a douche. 
<laughs> Joey Bryant for 10. Hey, Dank, did Lord Miley mention about a future movie about his adventure through Arabia? Potential dark comedy, maybe? <laughs> that, that it, it should pro possibly be a movie. Yeah. I think maybe it could be. We need to be exaggerated a little bit, but, you know, I think it could work. <laughs> but Ponder says, Tim keeps telling me to smash the like button, but I just want to smash Lydia's poop shoot. Okay. John Smith says, Lord Miles might seems like uh, such a genuinely nice person. Most psychopaths do. Based in New Zealand, uh, thanks for the shows, boy. Boys, uh, really helps now that New Zealand is under lockdown. Great guest, Rip Sean Locke. Uh, Wade T Toga says, the hoes here are well-respected. So is the horse that is galloping us towards communism. Deplorable Pipe Captain Gumbricks has a question for SMP. Can a four-year-old identify as a demisexual? I'd really love to know their answer. Joey Bryant for 20. It's time I, to head I, I, No, sorry. I've just no idea how the SMP keep getting voted into power, <laughs> but continue. Yeah. Uh, Joey Bryant says it's time to head over to Alex Jones to learn the truth about the spare change bomber. Yeah, the incident got a lot of marks of the Las Vegas shooting. We knew everything about him before the police even broke down the door. That's a good point. Justin Debari. Damn, I've been listening to this since 2018. This is your first guest. By the way, love your stuff. Been watching for about the same time. No, we've had other guests before, about one per year. Yeah, one uh, per year. We had we've had a uh, young Crip and Frank Hassel. Yeah, and and, and AIU. So that's more I, than I, one. I, year. I, I, I wasn't I wasn't here for AIU. Yeah, he was a fill in. Yeah. Um, Dean Dean says, "Remember Elliot Roger being subbed to the Young Turks? Got scrubbed by the media." <laughs> Sudakar really? says. Uh, big man, why are your views on subs going down? I assume he's talking to me. Uh, I lost about a thousand subs because I said that I'm pro-choice on the vaccine. Um, views for me are are not going down. They're they're actually a little better than normal. So what's wrong with saying you're pro-choice with the vaccine? Uh nothing. That's why I didn't that's, care. Yeah, <laughs> that's a normal fucking opinion to have. Yeah, but you know when you have. A mil, you know, let's say I have a, a two hundred thousand at most active viewers. You know, yeah. like you're gonna have a couple thousand of them that are like, you know, poke doomers and they just can't accept it. Um, speaking of racism, for five says, why did he want change? Wasn't his truck full of it? Hope and change. Ah, uh, Barack Jerome Obama for five says, hello, all hope is well. Lauren is literally a Disney princess in my opinion. Also, bearing, how are you enjoying Australia? Yeah, not well. Uh, nomadic archery says super happy tism uh, to have tism for my 3100 kilometer drive from Ontario to Alberta no mass mandates no passports just freedom fuck that's a long ass drive uh, deplorable pirate captain Gumbeard says since when are the revolution in healthcare right wing talking points uh, 2016 yes yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah there is no overlap yeah right it was a hard sw a hard switch yeah you, that's why you get people nowadays that are like I've, and i've argued with them going i hate everything right wing everything yeah. absolutely everything it's like all right what about owning property right what about <laughs> what, what about freedom of speech because apparently yeah, that's a right wing thing now yeah no, no sorry it's right wing extremism Freedom oh right, right, right. Yeah, if you, if you want human rights, pff, extremist. <laughs> right, yeah, you fucking monster. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Wade says the UK has an alpaca of of ours on death row. If they send it back, we'll send them a kami horse in return. Don't say nay to it. Ban, banned. I've not caught up on that fucking <laughs> shit. Apparently, an alpaca is getting killed, and I'm. Maybe if I find it in me enough to care, I'll do a Google and find out why. Yeah, that sounds, I mean, that sounds awful. Um, uh, Burtz says, if a necrophiliac screws a vampire in her sleep and she lets it happen after waking up, who's the grapist? A necrophiliac screws a vampire in her sleep. Well, both, both parties consented, so like no one. Well, no, the vampire's asleep, so he's still a... Oh, but she just let but it happen after said waking she, up. She, she lets it happen. Hmm. Yeah, okay. well, then it was consensual. I'm not sure that... It was, it was, it was Schrodinger's rape. Yeah, right, yeah. 
Aerodynamics says another week, another clomp hill taken. Nothing else to do really even in America. Live it up with some more dollar dues. Thank you. Warsmith Carras says account Dankala. Uh, Richard Enormous says can't watch now. We'll watch after my penis reduction surgery. I assume so next week sometime. Jim Mack for 10, do beheadings break toss? They actually do. Aaron Bossman for two. Dink, why did Biden use Sue's plan for withdrawal? I've been wondering that myself. Danish cartoonist for five. First super chat. Hi, Lauren. What are you doing here? I remember when this was just news articles about guys having things happen to their dicks. <laughs> D-Dog 94. Good evening, gents. This is old news, but did you see Lindsay Ellis got cannibalized by her own audience for criticizing Ray on The Last Dragon? I did not. Is that who is that? Is that the nostalgia critic? The nostalgia chick? I, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I don't either. Victorus says, writing to let you know from today, I'm in remission. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. Congratulations. Nice. Well done. Yeah. Uh, Bearded Mountain says, never catch you guys live watching you at work. Let's see how much trouble I get into. Uh, Matthew Hammond says, what's more likely? Lauren will not be allowed to enter Canada or Lauren will not be allowed to leave Australia. Well, the actual opposite of both is true. Right? She's banned from Australia and she lives in Canada. Doesn't I thought she? Li- no, I, I thought she lived in Australia. What? No. I think that's where, I, I, legit. I think that's where Lauren lives. No, she got banned from Australia when she went down there with uh, the egg guy. It's years ago. So she got banned, unbanned, and now she lives there. Uh don't quote me on that. I, I may have misread something, but I think it's where she lives. I, I guess think. I can't say for sure. But she yeah. did. She did refer to six o'clock when her show was, and that was like an hour ago. I think she's in Canada. Uh, uh, okay. Aaron Bosman says Australia needs to bring back guns, um, bring back militias. I don't think we can really rely on the U.S. anymore. I understand. Um, <laughs> Far lap for Mad Lad, uh, Ju H. So Lauren, as a fellow Leaf, you're thinking we're going to have similar mail-in problems as those in the below the 49th. Yeah, I'm sure she would agree. Uh, Caesar says, this is a special guest, Lord Miles of Arabia. Is it? <laughs> guest arrives. Aw. Comic Nut, hey, twice in two weeks. Well, that's awesome, by the way. Found a job, so I'm burning my unemployment money. And and is that LS? Get out of Australia while you can. And is that LS? Oh, yes, Lauren Southern. It is, yeah. Ver- Verified. Hey, hey, Lauren's here. Oh, wait, long Lauren. wrong Lauren. Failed abortion says, as Samalu... Ali Kum, my Habibis. Asa, oh, is that Asalama Lakum? My <laughs> Habibis. Like yeah. yeah, it's 5 a.m., <laughs> but I have to stay awake for Tism and Salah. Uh, J Mac, bearing sounds gayer. Reed Laverty, five. Hey, babe, is your bed in the Geneva Convention? Because I want to break it. Verify for two. My favorite people, especially bearing. No, they don't got any milk. Uh, Brother Doom for five. Wait. You have a podcast? <laughs> Commander Kronk for five. Remember when Admiral Elu Akbar said, it's a trap. Deplorable Pirate Captain Gumbeard says, how is that the GD Taliban, how is it that the GD Taliban learned to mean before the left? <laughs> They're really both on the left, to be honest. Any Larry for five. On call this week, so unfortunately sober. Have some tasty beverages for me, boys. Thank you. Last couple here, guys. Sprout Sprout says, how does Dinkula deal with Insomnia. Recently, I've discovered I have a similar case when I woke up this morning missing all of my cheese slices. Oh, sex somnia. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I've spoken about it before. That's a real thing that I do have. What is it? Like you got you fucking your sleep? Yeah, I try and see whoever I'm sleeping next to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I, yeah, yeah I, I do. I do it to Sue all the fucking time. Except it has. A, I don't have as many instances of it. Um, ever ever since I bought my fucking heavily weighted autism blanket. <laughs> <laughs> John uh, Smith says you guys should go on the Stitch and Adam show. Um, sure. Um, Dean Domino says I've seen terrible behavior like that from Hassan, except he doesn't create content, just steals it from others while his mom makes him chicken nuggies. Not kidding about the nuggets. He actually said it. I know it's really weird. Andy Lurie says, I hope Lauren wasn't wearing socks when she was on. Mark C. Ferg, 
Jared, enjoying your articulate article narration. I miss Bering's commercials. Dank, less fat. Good job, you spicy Scott. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Beast on the Run says, Taliban are now selling uh, MRAPs Lamau. Apparently, they also got some tank tanks too. Verified 5 says, Jeremy is the quartering mid Wesley. PG rated Jeremy is TISM and live streams are rated. That's correct. And Randomonious F Mecarina, they won't give me my bonuses for using your link. What? Email me. I'll make it right. Well, uh, that's that's all for this week. Um, Bearing should be back next week. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the show. And um, what do you got coming on this? What do you got going on this week, Dank? Um, I've got two. No, I've got one video coming out next week, and then uh, another one coming out like at the very, very end of the month. So I'll be in the I'll be in the studio doing all of that. Well, I will be going to the Renaissance Fair this weekend and uh, doing, yeah, going to do some videos tomorrow, too. Hopefully get up early and get done early. Cool. All right. Uh, Verified last one, Rescue Bearing Sugar Tits and Daisy Cousins from the AU. I don't, I don't know. I'll do what I can. <laughs>